the Kenyan Supreme Court upheld William Ruto's victory in the recently concluded election. His opponent, Rayla Odinga, is expected to concede. During a visit to Taipei, Tuvaluan Prime Minister Kausei Natano reiterated his commitment to remaining a lasting and loyal ally to Taiwan. Chinese President Xi Jinping will visit Kazakhstan in his first foreign trip since the pandemic began. He will then fly to Uzbekistan for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization's Leaders' Summit. India is considering the G7's proposal to cap the price of Russian oil, but stressed that it has a moral duty to its citizens to ensure the availability of oil. Despite pressure from Ukraine, US President Joe Biden said that Russia should not be labeled a state sponsor of terrorism.